welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Miranda Abbott and I'm the founder of Dance Equations. Dance Equations is a program about how to teach mathematics through dance and movement. I myself, being a dancer and having a dance company named Event Horizon Dance, I choreographed using mathematics. So now, after years of teaching mathematics through dance, I felt it would be more useful to bring dance to the classroom on a daily basis, and what better way to do this than develop a curriculum for teachers. My goal and mission of the program is to help give teachers confidence to use dance room in the classroom. I think we all have a little bit of a stigma about dance, um, and a lot of us feel that we can't dance. In fact, the best way to introduce dance is through creative movement and allowing the students to find and generate their own movement for themselves. And that is absolutely something a teacher can do. The best part about it is teachers have a huge database of information in their head. They're used to teaching a spectrum of curriculum. And this can be pulled on in a dance lesson. So all these themes and ideas we can utilize within a dance lesson. Dance is a universal form of expression. So what are we really trying to do with dance? Are we trying to point our toe perfectly? Or are we trying to tell a story? I think we all can tell a story with our body. We know when we're happy, we know when we're sad. And so I'm trying to bring dance to the classroom in that way. What I am inspired about is mathematics, science, philosophy. I think that it adds a true abstract thinker to imagine particles hundreds of years before they're provable. I think it's amazing the concept of string theory and other theories that you know, we might not be able to prove, but using our math and our thoughts and our ideas, we come up with the the story of our existence. Um, and so it creates that kind of abstract side to the art form as well, not just the understanding on how numbers work together on paper, but also making numbers come alive. Uh, so if you're looking for new ways to bring art into the classroom, I think dance equations would be perfect for you. I've created a resource called Beyond Movement, and it's kind of the first uh, book, major book, uh, of the program. I have lots more underway, and there's already a few uh, of other lessons available off the website, and also including musical CDs and resources that you can use that go along with it. But Beyond Movement is kind of the base. It's kind of, here you go, here's dance on a platter. How are you going to do it? How, without having dance training, are you going to come in and understand dance and the four elements of dance, space, time, force, and body? These are all things that we can understand. So these are all things that you can use to teach math in your classroom. So I'd like to say thank you very much, and I'm here waiting for you to ask me a million questions. Have a great day.